the third album, Love Goes All The Way. I was the executive producer. So I was the one who had the final say on what songs, on how we want to, to market. Or so she thought. By the time Shannon finished recording the album, Atlantic Records was going through some changes of its own. When we did that album, Hank Caldwell was head of the R&B department. When he left, the album was finished. Sylvia Rohn, she stepped right into his shoes. So now she wants to go in and start hiring new people, uh, creating, doing new songs and stuff like that. So it became a struggle uh, between she and I. They wanted Shannon to go more in a very more poppy, poppy, I'm talking about poppy feel. At this time, Janet Jackson was popping. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, well, we need to chase that. And so I would cry many nights in the studio recording the album. And I was very angry about that. I got very bitter about that. Sylvia just didn't have Shannon's back when it came to talking to the people upstairs at Atlantic Records. And because she was fighting them tooth and, uh, tooth and nail. Uh, Atlantic Records did not give push on that third album. 